Let's look at the formula for writing a news story. It is vital to keep church members informed about upcoming activities. It is also essential to share church news with members, the conference, and the general public. Items about community service projects, evangelistic meetings, community recognition, and outstanding members are examples of types of news or stories that is vital to share. But how do I, as a communicator, craft the story? Let us take a look at a basic structure you can follow for news stories. A written outline can be found in your course material. First, you need a headline. This is where you mention the subject, what it did, and a brief description. An example of a headline would be Social Worker of the Year Award given to Seventh day Adventist. This headline shows the subject, Social Worker of the Year, the action, given an award, and a brief description, Social Worker of the Year is a Seventh day Adventist member. In the end, ensure your headline tells exactly what is to come in the story. Next, we have the lead. For the lead, this is your introduction. Here you will talk about the who, the what, the when, the where, and in a few cases, the how. This paragraph should briefly capture the key details of your story. Our example for our lead will look something like this. The Department of Children and Family Services recently held its DCF Awards Recognition Dinner at Pedro St. James. The ceremony focused on honoring departmental employees with 20 to 32 years of service, but also delivered individual team and manager certificates. The night culminated with the presentation of the inaugural Social Work of the Year Joyce Hilton Award. Can you see and identify all of the W's? Good, because that is what your lead will look like. If a person never makes it past this paragraph, they should have a pretty good idea of what the story is. Next up is a quick background or context. This shows why the story matters to the readers and gives you the opportunity to elaborate on the details in the lead. Continuing with our running example, this matters because Mrs. Tempora Wesley, a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Georgetown, was presented the inaugural Joyce Hilton Award. Next on the outline is a quote, and this can come from the leader or organizer of an event, the subject of the story, your pastor, guest presenter, or audience member. For example, this is what was said by Mrs. Wesley upon receiving her award. It is a high honor to receive the first ever Social Worker of the Year Award. I am humbled and so proud to be furthering Mrs. Hilton's mission by doing the job I love, working alongside colleagues that I admire. Additional aspects of the outline include ministry or event details. And this is where you mention the purpose of the ministry you are highlighting or give further important details on the event which were not included in your lead paragraph. Also, you can get additional quotes from persons who participated in the event or a volunteer from the ministry. This can highlight why they are involved in the ministry or what was the benefit for a community member which attended your event. Last, but by no means least, the wrap-up. This is your concluding paragraph which brings the story to a close. Don't be afraid to include upcoming events related to your subject or use this conclusion to invite readers to your church. We've come to the end of this section, the story and the process. I'll see you in the next.